Hello and welcome to channel 48. My name is Puck. How are you doing on this beautiful Friday afternoon? I hope you're doing fine. So today I'm going to talk about the very best and future custom ROMs that all uh, these uh, phones should get and some, some already have and it's just amazing that's why i want to talk about it today not only for the samsung galaxy s5 the g 900 f but as well for the rest of the family of the s5 as well the s4 the s3 and even the espresso wi-fi that is the samsung tab 2 10.1 the 5110 p5110 uh and of course the 3g uh, version from from that device so we have a bunch of phones that can get the very best custom ROM ever created in the world. So who is this company and who are they and what can we expect? Well, let me first talk about the companies that are in fact supporting this phone and as well a bunch of other phones. Uh, probably most of you will already know these companies these are the most important one is lineage os dot uh, os usp extended they create beautiful roms powered by bruno we have of course resurrection so these are some companies that i just called for you that are supporting this device for a very long time already since Nougat, I think since Android 6, maybe even before that, I'm not even sure because then I didn't have this device yet. The problem is with all these ROMs that you can download, ladies and gentlemen, is that you're going to end up with a system that has just some apps on board no app store no no nada of course some of you will say yeah but you can you, you can flash gaps yeah but you want to become independent and then you're gonna flash gaps what kind of craziness is that so you want to be independent you want to you know close your borders etc but then you still want to use gaps how, how you want to do that so i think that Flashing gaps on top of a ROM is not something that that, that you should do. Um, just out of respect as well for Google. I mean, like Google wanted you to, uh, how you say that, to register your IME before you can download stuff from the Google Play Store. So, my problem is a total different problem. My problem is that certain application creators demand Google services to be installed and that's where the problem begins because simple applications for instance our broadcasting uh, national public TV these guys they have DRM even on the news you know, if, if we are in Germany or in some other country and we just want to check how things are at home, we cannot tune into our live TV app from NPO. So NPO is effect blocking custom run world. We had this before in Linux as well with uh, the, the, what was it called? The Silverlight codec. They were using the Silverlight codec and Linux at that time was su were suffering because they were not getting the information uh, from uh, from uh, from Microsoft how to create their own version of of Silverlight. They did it later, and now you know there is some codec in Linux world that will that will support Silverlight. I'm not even sure how it's called. I think they called it Moonlight or so, something like that. So this is a thing that has been going on for a long time already with the Dutch people. Then we got this fantastic company that started creating ROMs that could do all of that out of the box. So what am I talking about? Well, my friends, I'm talking about a ROM 
that you can install and that you will as well be able to update it comes from a very good company and you will be able to then update it and keep updating it and soon when android q will come out you will have to install android q and then you can keep updating on on weekly base monthly base for the next coming two years and that for such an old device what can this room do well this room my friends this room can out of the box open an application that normally would beg for google services to be installed so that means that you can install each and every app on this device after installing the ROM. You don't need no gaps anymore. You can install each and every app on this device and all the devices running that ROM. So what ROM am I talking about? Well, friends, I'm talking about Lineage OS with Micro G built in, yes. Lineage OS has a build, official build, with Micro G built in. And the coolest from that build is, after you installed it, and you installed all the applications that you normally install, that need, you know, Google services to be installed on the phone, then you go to update, and then you do an up update to, to the newest version of the ROM that you're running and you'll be good to go so that means no more problems with applications you know that are demanding they are not asking this is demanding you know npo yeah i think that you are quite that you did that have done with the custom ROM world um yeah what you did have is 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 ja, misschien voor jullie erg goed, maar voor ons is dat niet goed. Ik vind dat NPO ook een applicatie moet maken, app moet maken, die ja, mensen die geen Google services geïnstalleerd hebben op hun telefoon ook gewoon kunnen gebruiken. Want ja, anders krijg je dadelijk een of andere hacker en die gaat jullie programmaatje namaken en, en die haalt dan al die services eruit en ja, snap je? Dus je kunt beter dat jullie dat zelf even doen, dat jullie een aangepaste versie maken voor, uh, voor gebruikers die uh, geen Google services op hun telefoon hebben lopen. Dan is het probleem ook opgelost voor de Nederlandse mensen. Maar waarschijnlijk gaat het niet lukken omdat jullie DRM gebruiken en allerlei soort bescherming voor eigenlijk staatsproducten. Het is een staatsproduct, NPO 1, 2 en 3, dat is een staatsproduct, dat is van het Koninkrijk der Nederlanden. Dat is voor iedere burger moet dat toegankelijk zijn, waar die ook is in de wereld. Maar jullie blokken dat. Foei, dat is niet oké, okay, uh, NPO. So, ja, um, yeah, I just spoke to these guys. And ja, yeah, I'm here with the phone. This phone is uh, the ex-phone from my mom. And ja, yeah, as you know, she passed away, uh, unfortunately, uh, in May. And... Um, yeah, I brought the phone back home. The phone was just fine. It was running the official firmware, uh, Samsung, of course. Uh, but then I thought, you know what, let's upgrade it and do some testings and then, you know. But in some way, yeah, this phone, it became kind of crazy after I installed Lineage OS onto it. And the battery, yeah, in some way, I think the heart of the battery is not so good anymore. Um, this thing has a whole lot of power still inside, but as you can see, um, it won't turn on. Oh, it's turning on, it's turning on, it's turning on. Okay. It has a little problem with the battery. So I must go get a new battery. Mom has been using this thing like a daily base to call with me. And when we would talk, we would talk for hours. So yeah. This this is special phone, so um, I will show only beautiful rooms. I will get a new battery for this phone. This phone is not going anywhere. 
gonna keep it. I had to remember I give the Hussein, uh, my keyboard player, the other phone, the other S5. It had a little crack. He wanted to keep it. This is the Mac phone mod. Boot animation is a little bit small, but it's good. It looks good. The Mac phone 20 clip. You see, it turned off again. So I think it has also something to do with the battery. Um, maybe the battery, I should put something here at the back, a piece of cardboard. Let me see if I can find a piece here. Just a piece like that and then press it in and then pop it out. So the battery sits good, you see that what I did? I popped a piece of cardboard now it should boot again so this is my friends the very best rom that you can install i hope that it will be supported uh, supporting your phone as well so please check out uh, the link that you will find in my description go up there uh, as well find out what the code name is of your of your phone you know um this is the klte and yours I'm not sure what yours is maybe you have a other model of the s5 so so find that out first uh, i'm looking for my charging cable i have a problem here with this phone a battery problem so in fact yeah go ahead and download your ROM, test it out uh, i can also put the mod in my description and then you can go ahead and as well install the mod and then you're gonna have some great applications uh, as well a firewall hey what is wrong with you baby don't you do that it's going into a download mode it's, it's doing all sorts of things now it's on cam you know these phones when they are on cam it goes to download mode out of itself so i don't know what's wrong with it this thing just wants to be restored Maybe it's mom, she thinks, why, why are you installing that firmware? I want my own firmware back. I don't know how to work with this. You never know. Now it's booting up again. It was just a little problem with the brain. So this became a very special phone. Now it turned off again. It's, it's the problem. It's a problem with the battery, trust me. The ROM is good. Um, go ahead and download it and um, try it out. Let me know in the comments what you think of Micro G and if it works for you. I can say it works really good. And uh, I want to thank E, e -ROM company for yeah, in fact, creating ROMs with Micro G built in. So I advise all of you other ROM makers to do just the same, you know, create roms but as well built in micro g you know stop telling people that they must download gaps and things like that just make sure that whenever you uh, finish the rom you know each and every application will run on 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 that device without it demanding not asking but demanding people to have google play services installed this was my video um i, I love to read your comments and uh, yeah let me know what you think of Micro G Lineage.